Hi everyone, I'm Hannah. I'm the museum educator here at the Transcona Museum. Welcome to the second day of Railway Week. Um, today we will be um, becoming a conductor. We have three smaller crafts today. Um, the first one we'll do is we'll be making a railway crossing sign, just a tiny handheld one. You could pose um, with it in pictures, um, with your conductor's hat, which we will also be making today. And we'll be making a paper pocket watch. Um, we'll start off with the railway crossing sign. Um, so for this craft, you're going to need three popsicle sticks. I've already painted them. Uh, you might have colored popsicle sticks as well, but you're going to need one uh, popsicle stick painted black and two popsicle sticks painted white. You're also going to need glue to glue the uh, popsicle sticks together and a paintbrush and red paint to do the outline on the white popsicle sticks. So I'll just tilt you downwards. All right, so we'll start off by um, painting the edges of the white uh, popsicle sticks. I would suggest having a piece of paper towel um, under your popsicle sticks just so you don't ruin whatever surface you're painting on, um, unless you have like a tablecloth or something that can get paint on it. So I will just pour out my red paint. So you might ask, what does a conductor exactly do? Well, train conductors are basically the guardians of trains. They work as a part of the train crew and they travel to the destinations that uh, the train will be going on the train and they make sure that everything and everyone on the train arrives safely at its destination. So a strategy for this is to have a smaller paintbrush. You don't want something too big that might end it up uh, painting over most of the white. And have your paintbrush about halfway off the edge of the popsicle stick. So it's kind of a guide around the edge of the popsicle stick. You'll need to reapply paint a few times because you don't want your brush to be too soaked with red paint just in case it comes too thick onto the popsicle stick. So conductors are also responsible for ensuring that uh, when they s switch train cars that it goes safely. Um, they help um, make the train cars or splitting up train cars. Uh, they move car help move cars between yards. They basically keep trains moving. They're very important. All right. So we've got our first popsicle stick outlined. You can see here, I'm just going to leave it uh, to dry and we'll quickly do the second one. Make sure that your white 
paint has completely dried before you do this. Uh, it might be a bit messy if it the white paint is still wet, or it might make the red uh, turn pink. <laughs> And I did paint both sides of the popsicle sticks just so that if you happen to turn uh, the railway crossing sign around, uh, both sides are painted white and black. I won't be doing red on both sides though. All right, so now that we have our two parts of our railway crossing sign painted, I'm just gonna put those off to the side and let those dry. And we'll move on to the conductor's hat craft for now. Um, so here we have what the conductor's hat will look like. Um, we have a template for this craft on our website, if you go to the at home tab, click on that, there will be a drop down menu uh, and it'll say craft with us. Click on that and there's a button right on the page that pops up that says uh, railway week day two template. Um, it'll open up there uh, and you can just quickly print it off. Um, if you have cardstock, I would suggest printing it off on cardstock just so it's a little bit more secure because uh, I have cardstock glued or yeah glued to the back of these just so they don't kind of curl up as after you um, color the paper. So whatever you have works. Uh, you could even put you know some like cardboard behind it. Uh, anything that's a bit stronger than paper um, will work or you don't have to. It's up to you. So uh, you can also just draw it out. You don't necessarily need the template. You can just kind of look at the general shape and um, make your own conductor's hat template. If you purchase a craft kit, the template will be in the craft kit. You can still purchase railway craft kits on our website if you're interested. So here I have all of the pieces of the conductor's hat already colored. Um, and cut out just to save some time. But I'll show you how to put it together once you print it off, uh, take it out of your craft kit and color it and cut it out. So basically you're just going to place the lid of the hat. There's um, kind of an edge that shows you where to glue. So you're going to glue that edge to the back of the top of your conductor's hat. I would suggest using stick glue um, instead of liquid glue or hot glue just because it comes through the paper and kind of um, messes up your coloring a bit. So we'll do that. Now, conductor's hats aren't really a part of their uniforms anymore, but um, when Transcona shops first opened in uh, 1913, conductors and in the years after that, conductors did wear hats like this. We have a couple of them in our collection. We also have a, a jacket as well. So I just glued that onto the back, um, putting glue where the um, white outline is. And here we have the lid. You can kind of flip it upwards to have more of a lid. There you go. And all we have left to do is just um, glue on the band for the hat. Um, on that template, there's two separate band pieces um, depending on if you how uh, big your head is I guess if you're a kid or an adult um, I just 
glued the two pieces together so that it created a, a bigger band that could actually sit on my head. So whatever works. You can also trim it if you are somewhere in between. So you're just going to take the edge on color side outward and stick it onto the side of the hat. You can kind of stick it under the lid as well. Uh, let's see, let's stick it under the lid to give it more, um, to make it a bit more uh, better stay on kind of thing. But I'll be using stick glue again for this. So glue, put glue on the edges, the colored edges and stick that to the back of the hat under the lid if you want. And I'm just going to do that to the other side like this. And you can color it however you want. Um, a lot of conductors hats you might see are usually like a blue and white sometimes, but it all depends. You can have it whatever colors you want. And here you have your conductor's hat using the template on our website under the at home tab, um, craft with us. Uh, you can color it however you want. And there you go. So now that we've finished our conductor's hat, there's our first step in becoming a conductor. We're just going to move back to the railway crossing sign now that it's had time to, uh, the red paint has had time to dry. It's okay, it doesn't have to be totally dry as long as it's mostly dry. I'm just going to take those off the paper towel. All right, so basically what you're going to do is put the two red and white sticks in an X and you're going to glue them together in the middle. I would suggest using liquid or hot glue. Um, it'll most likely stick better. If you're using hot glue, please make sure you have an adult present. So I just put a dot of liquid glue on the middle of one of the sticks. Make sure you don't put it on the red and white side, but just the uh, back side. And I'll make my X shape. You can kind of make it at whatever angle you want. So we'll just let that sit. All right. Then you're going to take your black pop painted popsicle stick and glue the crossing sign uh, just to the middle of the crossing sign in the back. So you'll do the same thing. Put a spot of liquid glue on the top of your black popsicle stick. And just hold it. All right. And there you go. You have your railway crossing sign. And you can touch it up a bit if some of the red paint gets in the white paint. Just make sure the red paint is totally dry before you do that. But here you go. So now you have your second step to becoming a conductor. You have your hat to show um, people working on uh, the trains or in the yards that you are the conductor and you're in charge of their safety. And here you have a railway crossing sign, which is one of the signs you have to look out for when you're on a train or walking by a train or driving by a train track. Always um, be very, very careful about in those situations. Um, and actually, on Friday's craft, where we'll be making a railway lantern, I'm going to be talking about railway safety and giving you some very important railway safety tips. All right. So for our last railway or become a conductor craft, 
we're going to be making a paper pocket watch. So as you can see, this is a B for my last name, but you can decorate it however you want. Um, and it has a string, so you can wear it around your neck or put it in your pocket to hang. So for this craft, you're going to need You're going to need um, two sheets of construction paper. Sorry, excuse me. Two she sheets of construction paper. Um, I chose black and white, but you can have whatever colors you want. You can also paint the paper if you just have uh, white paper and want to have it a bit more colorful. You're going to need a piece of yarn to uh, make the chain. Um, you're going to need a Sharpie marker to write in your numbers around the clock. A scissors to cut out the paper. I have a single hole punch just to punch the hole for the piece of yarn, but um, you can just poke a hole or cut a hole. You don't necessarily need a single hole punch. Uh, a pencil to draw out the circle shapes that we're going to be cutting and I would suggest having something to trace. So I'm going to be using a cup to trace uh, these circles here that are connected, these two bigger circles, and then you're going to need something smaller to trace the clock face. So I'm going to be using the bottom of a hand sanitizer bottle, which I'm sure lots of you have a lot of that at home, so that'd be a good option to use. And you're going to need something to trace the smaller circle at the top here. I'm just going to use one of the paint bottles. Um, whatever you have around the house will work, or you can just freehand it. All right. So we're going to start, I'll start with the black construction paper because that's going to be my out, outside of the um, pocket watch. The white paper is going to be my clock face. So basically you're going to, I would suggest starting lower on the page towards you, just so you have room to draw in this piece here. So trace one circle with whatever you're using. I'm using a plastic cup. Okay, and then not too far from it, you're going to trace a second circle with the same item that you used. All right, so now that you have two circles not too far from each other, like this, you're going to connect them in the middle with just two lines. They don't have to be perfect and they can be however thick you want them to be. It's just so that you don't cut through or cut in between the two circles because you need to have them connected like this. All right, but before we start cutting those two circles, you're going to make, uh, doesn't matter which circle you have it on, but we're going to make the piece on top that has the hole in it to put the string through, this piece here. So you're just gonna draw two lines upward from one of the circles. I would say make them a bit thicker or the, like this. Make it towards more towards the second line just so that it doesn't break apart when you're cutting it. And then I'm going to take my smaller paint bottle and draw a circle on top of those two lines we just drew. All right, so this is what we have so far. And then you're just gonna cut out along those lines, making sure not to cut through, sorry if this is hard to see, to cut through this or this. Make sure you cut around them so everything's one connected piece. 
So I'll just do that. So the Transcona shops just down the road from the museum on Pandora Avenue opened in opened in 1913 and people with many, many different skills worked there. Um, the shops have uh, the capacity to hold 5,000 workers. That is a lot of workers. And there were different people who had different skills working there. So for example, there were not only conductors, but car men, for example, they were in charge of um, the inspection and repair of train cars. There were blacksmiths. So blacksmiths um, made parts for trains like axles. There were also uh, boiler makers. So when steam, um, steam powered trains and engines um, came into use, boiler makers built and repaired them to carry freight and people across North America. Uh, and boiler makers would have been involved in the making of the CN2747 because that is a steam engine. Um, if you tuned in for our last craft, you would have seen that we made a tiny model of the CN2747 out of toilet paper rolls and paint. Um, feel free to uh, look, watch that video back on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or our website if you're interested. All right, so this is what we have. I would say use the side that doesn't have pencil marks or you can just erase the side that has pencil marks and fold it over so that the two circles line up like this. And here you have the kind of um, shape of your pocket watch. So we're just gonna take a hole punch, um, scissors, even a pencil, you could just poke a hole through to have room for the yarn. So there you go. I will thread the yarn through. You can make the yarn piece as long as you want. Um, it's up to you. Also any color you want. There you go. Just tying it. Just gonna cut the excess off. So all that's left is to put the clock face on. So take your middle um, or medium sized circular object to trace. Um, make sure that it is smaller than the one you use to trace these bigger circles. And just quickly trace a circle. I'll cut that circle out. All right. So take the side that doesn't have the pencil marks on it uh, or sorry, take the side that does have the pencil marks on it and glue it down onto whichever side of the pocket watch you want. It doesn't matter. Um, so you're going to glue it like that. Um, you can use liquid or stick glue. I'm just going to use stick glue so it's, it dries a bit quicker. All 
All right. So now that that's on, all we have left to do is just draw on the clock face. So grab a Sharpie, pencil, um, whatever you want, a maybe colorful marker. I'm just going to quickly draw on the clock face. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you can draw some clock hands to whatever time you want. And there you have it. Here is your paper pocket watch. You can decorate the front however you want to. Paint, glitter, stickers, whatever you desire. And there you have it. You have your own paper pocket watch along with a conductor's hat and a railway crossing sign. So now that you've done all of these three crafts, I would say that you have officially become a conductor and maybe one day you'll work at the Transcona shops. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the second day of Craft With Us Railway Week. Please make sure to join us on Friday to make a railway lantern. The supply list for that craft is up on our Instagram page. Um, or you could purchase a Railway Week craft kit on our website. And next week's crafts just got announced. Next week's theme is Sports Week. We'll be making a paper football, a hockey stick magnet, and a baseball necklace made out of a washer. So if you're interested in that, uh, once again, the uh, crafts and the supplies needed for those crafts is up on our Instagram page. So check that out or purchase a craft kit for Sports Week. Also a reminder that tomorrow we have walking tours. Um, so from 11 to 12.15, we'll be running our History of Downtown Transcona walking tour. And tomorrow from 2 to 3, we'll be running our Murals of Transcona walking tour. So please pre-register on our website uh, and you can just pay when you arrive. So thank you so much. Have a great day and hope to see you on Friday for the last.